I was just made aware that uh, Hasbro is selling off all of our suits. Okay, so this is another second Power Rangers actor I've seen refer to this. And I feel like I have to say something. I know it's not my place. It's not, I'm not, I wasn't a part of the franchise. I wasn't anything more than a fan. I'm okay with that. I've accepted it as much as I would have loved to have been a part of it. There was just no feasible way for me to do that. I'm not an actor, right? But the sheer fact that Hasbro has the gall to have bought a franchise, done, like released new content for us for a handful of years, only to then turn around and after they finish the franchise, they're like, oh, it's not making any money. We're not going to do anything with it. We're just going to you know, put it on the shelf. We can't think of anything else to do with it. To turn around and then sell off 30 years of history where pending a collector who's a fan of the series doesn't buy it and store it somewhere nice or give it to some sort of, you know museum or give it to the actors themselves it's going to end up going into somebody's closet or it's going to go to a storage unit where it's going to sit there and get ruined and rot and just waste away 30 years of this hit of this franchise's history is just being sold for money yoshi in that video makes a good point of the amount of good karma it would bring for that business to give those things to the actors even if they were just to say hey re to reach out and say hey would you like this do you want to have this that would be better than just selling it off to the highest bidder the amount of anger and vitriol i've seen online about this as a whole so far has been insane and i'm i'm right there with them i don't like this i think this is a dumb idea i think this is stupid I think that they are shooting themselves in the foot and making it so that Power Rangers fans will never trust them again. We already have a hard time wanting to trust them because of how quickly they just up and canceled everything. Jesus. And like, Power Rangers has been in limbo for the last year because of what they've been doing. Regardless, I genuinely believe that Yoshi has a point they should have just reached out to the actors, even if they just to see if they wanted it let alone just to reach out and get their information to send them the stuff. At least ask if they want it, right? Is that, is that too hard to ask for a company like that? 